world record holder and newly crowned champion of the Legends and Elite race, Shelby Roland. <laughs> Friends and family, please welcome to the start line these glorious competitors of today's Legends and Elite section. I'd like to welcome the team from Australia. Team Belgium! And from Team Canada, let us welcome the former world record holder in the beer mile and the beer two mile, Jim Findlayson. The godfather of the beer mile, the owner of the Kingston Rules, John Sparkle Markle. From Team Great Britain, Welcome the team captain, Andy Norman! From Team Sweden, let us please welcome the age group world record holder in a number of events, the one and only Hawken Eriksson! And Team USA is here! Represented by a gentleman prepared to battle the 50 plus world record, Todd Rose. And Olympian and 5,000 meter American record holder, Shelby Houlihan. These are your competitors for the elites and legends division of today's Beer Mile World Classic. Travis and Will, back to you for more. All right, so we've got our legends field out there. This is, uh, this is gonna be a fun race, I think. It's, um, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I, yeah, I, there's, there's so many question marks in the starting line for me that uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. You got, you know, the, one of the very fun things also, these competitors can qualify for points, which we're doing cross-country scoring towards the overall team title, which is th their top three men and top two women. So very exciting to see. There's, there's more on the line in this race than beholds the eye. Uh, how they perform here can have repercussions into the later events of the day. Well, what's awesome here is I do see Blanche. He did make it. That guy was sleeping under a... Uh, a bar, a, a bar in San Diego at the airport because, yeah, well, he missed his flight. It's uh, one of those things that uh, just comes par for the course when it comes to, uh, uh, comes old Blanche there. And here I thought you were saying he was discovered underneath a bar in San Diego, and that's where he found his beer mile prowess. But no, he was found there because he missed his flight. <laughs> yeah, well, the legend of, uh, legend of him lives on. Uh, let's see if, uh, I, I don't even know if he's had any sleep. Who needs sleep? When you yeah. got a beer mile. So just a quick note, though. Um, as mentioned, there's two people, Todd Rose and, and uh, Jim Finlayson, that are going to be chasing down the seniors record. Um, there actually isn't really one recorded, so I, I guarantee you whatever, whatever gets, gets settled here will be the new, the new seniors record, as well as Sven, uh, Sven Erickson going for the super seniors record. Uh, he's 60 plus. So, uh, and he does have, you know, he does have the indoor um, seniors record for the 1500 and a outdoor 3000. So he's actually a pretty fast guy for his age. Also, it caught me off guard when they said that Finland said has the beer two mile record. That's eight beers, eight laps. It's, it's That's still the master's record. That's and correct. And insanity. I think we're going we're gonna to cut away here pretty soon to the, uh, the start here. I think they're still probably doing a little bit of pre-race stuff. He's kind of just going over a few things. So where they are getting staged up on the line. Love these drone shots. Chug! All right, we didn't have the quote away there, but there we are out on this. You're going to see some of the best chuggers in the world here. Look at that. Right out, right out of the gate, the guy from Belgium right there. I probably said that was about a six-second or just a little bit faster uh, f faster first beer there. That was uh, it's pretty smooth. That was uh, Jonas De Watcher. I'm not sure whether this is a popular opinion here, but I'm a firm believer that Belgium makes the best beer in the world. So, uh, mate, light work of the king of beers saw that Belgium take that down. AB InBev, now a Belgian beer. Um, 
you know, hometown proud for that guy. Yeah, so we are in the first lap, and it is going out pretty hot. We want to see if we can inside pass here. The inside lane is open. I'm unsure if this is a tactical maneuver by our Belgian compatriot, um, but the American athlete's saying, hey, pal, just tuck it. Come on, come on. I'm either going inside or I'm outside. Outside or I'm, I'm, I'm inside. Oh, goodness, I'm catching up my words here. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a few myself, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite all right. I think that's Aaron McLemore, but I couldn't quite get the number. Macklemore, the rapper, out here uh, with a, about 80 <laughs> meters to go. Uh, he's opening up a pretty quick lead here. I'd probably say he's got, what, about a good 10-meter lead right now? That was a pretty good first lap. You know, I think that there's some strategy taking play here where some of the athletes are slowing themselves down as they approach that beer transition. Um, you know, sort of just like a, in a triathlon when they're getting off the bike and into the run. And I'm sorry, that's actually Bud Lightning. <laughs> Bud Lightning right there. He's out to a quick lead. That's actually one of the best chugs I've seen him do. He struggled a little bit. He came to the, uh, the U.S. championships that we had here in Chicago a year ago. Um, didn't have his best effort. Uh, so this is a, a marked improvement over where he was a year ago. Obviously, he's been thinking about that race for the last 365 days, just like Happy Gilmore, toughening himself up, chiseling through the rigors of training, and showing himself to be a master of the beer mile at this point. Uh, with 200 meters remaining to go in this lap, no signs of slowing down. Uh, honestly, I think he's speeding up. He's excited for that third beer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And the rest of the field, I think Reed Line was uh, riding the caboose right now. That does not surprise me, honestly. Uh, Reed, I think he's, he's more trying to wait for that sit and kick mentality. Um, he knows exactly where he is. As I said, he did a hard beer mile on Tuesday, so it's, I think he's probably adequately pacing himself. But right now, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a one-person story. Hey, I'm telling you, though, Bud here might have a shot at breaking five. He's got he's to gotta pick it up a little bit. It just, we'll see how his chugs goes. He's a little slow to put the thing up. We'll see. Otherwise, I will probably say he's going to draw. That's a good chug. That was excellent. You, you know, sometimes you've got to ask yourself the question, is this a real name or is this an alias? Bud Lightning. The name's almost too good for, to be believed in the rules of beer miling. Oh, yeah. And he's out there. And uh, Belgium's still right there in second. Yeah, Jonas de Vachter is, uh, I, I'd say that the distance between these two athletes has not changed substantially over the last couple of laps, but Bud is really just hammering through these beers and hammering down the backstretch. Um, again, just showing the world that in God we trust. Well, you got Will and uh, Andy Norman as well uh, making up the, the, the tail end. And there goes Sven uh, making his way towards the, uh, towards the next beer, but this is, a, this is a sizable lead. He's up, what, about 70 meters now? This now, is a and folks, these aren't replays that you're seeing on the screen. This is just how metronomic Bud has been from the outset of this race. He's uh, making light work of this. Again, I think he's accelerating into the final 100 rather than trying to catch his breath. He has one beer and one lap remaining. And again, I just think he's excited. I think he knows that he's on to something absolutely special. As 344, 345, that's five-minute pace. Come on, Bud, what do you got in you? He's going to have to, he, at this point, he's going to have to run probably about a 60 flat by the time he gets his spear down. Let's see, he's got, uh, yeah, he's going to have we to run need a 62. 62. Come on, bud. Get Come going. On, bud. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. He's got the Suck breeze right on his nose. He's got the crowd in the, in, on his back, breathing and powering him down. And, oh, I, I honestly think, I think Belgium may have made up some time in that transition. He took a couple deep breaths before stomaching that beer. But he had Bud is looking strong. He is looking really strong. I'm curious where we stand for the next, uh, the next battle in the back here because I'm still curious about, uh, about Todd Rose. Is he going to is he going to take the uh, the Masters record? It's going to be Jim, and it looks like Jim's the one in the lead right now when it comes to the uh, the 50 plus the, se uh, the seniors. With about 150 meters to go, you can see a noticeable change. I think that he's going to be just over the five-minute mark, but he is giving absolute everything that he has. Bud Lightning with 100 meters to go. Oh, boy. He's probably looking at about a 502, 503, somewhere right around there. But this is – that's a great push. He has got some great turnover. This is impressive to watch. He actually might get it. He's going to be right at the line. Oh! oh! Five minutes flat. Oh, that was excellent. What a race. Bud's trying to prove the meat directors that they put him in the wrong heat. We might see that as one of the top American times today. That was absolutely incredible. Um, as the other finishers are coming across the line, there's our Belgian finisher coming in second. And we have a slurry of racers coming across the finish Will line right, right now. There, yep. 
Cut John Markle still on the track, the old godfather right there. Not in form that he's been in the past. He has knee surgery. And you get Jim Finlinson coming in. I think that's going to be the now standing seniors record. Oh, wow. And Shelby Houlihan are just completely screaming down that stretch right there. Let's see what time she pulls in. It's Andy Norman at 532. John Markle, 533. As we approach the six minute mark, again, competitors continue to stream across that shared finish line in glory <laughs> and pain and discomfort and, and absolutely uh, having throttled themselves over the last six minutes. Uh, we heard Ken Rideout earlier say that this was more difficult than a marathon, just to put that in perspective from one of the toughest competitors on the track today, but we're gonna go down to Mux with the winner with our winner today. Folks, we are here on the track. You saw a tremendous performance from Team USA, led by the one and only Bud Lightning. Bud, what a spectacular adventure out there on the Blue Oval today. Talk us through the critical second and third beers. Oh man, you know, I did a tune-up on Thursday and the running felt good, but I was just coming in too, too slow on the chugging exchanges. And so today I just really focused on just like, you don't need a full breath, man. Just chug, you want the beer. You've wanted the beer all week. There it is. You gotta want it, you gotta taste it, you gotta swallow it. So all of you wannabe chuggers out there, bud, any other advice for folks watching at home? Uh, oh, spend most of your college career hurt. <laughs> oh, there it is. Wonderful job. Big round of applause. Your winner in the Legends and Elite section of today's event, Bud Lightning. Thanks, guys. This was awesome. <laughs> what a great race. That was fantastic. Keep in mind that this is not an official time yet. We still have the measurements, so people still have the opportunity to be disqualified. I don't quite know if I heard anybody booting. In, uh, in that race, but there's still, you know, there's still, you know, opportunity there. And we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to some highlights of the day and of that race right now. All right, so you see there's just a quick finish. Good little battle right up at the beginning. Again, Bud Lightning, I, he must be drinking Bud Platinum. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure those are, those are Platinums. It is one of the preferred, uh, preferred, uh, Beers of choice amongst the uh, the elite runners. The creme de la creme, as we would say. Uh, but again, this is Bud Lightning coming with 100 meters to go and crossing the finish line there in what he is obviously proud of his effort out there today, um, dismantling that Legends field. All right, well, what, what, <laughs> what an exciting race. I can't wait to see the, uh, the final results here. I mean, we had a quasi-football celebration there at the end, just... Big Let's old, go! Big old chest bumps and everything. Yes, it's uh, it's great. Right, so there is a possibility that we could have a couple of world records that fell there. Um, we did have Shelby run pretty quick. We're waiting for official on that. All right, we're gonna throw it to Josh on the track for a quick interview. Folks, I've got great news to bestow upon you. You have been a wonderful gift. Individuals who have been here, traveled here from near and far have seen something only few have can imagined. Today, for the first time in world history, six minutes has been broken by a female contestant. Not only is that a world record, it was absolutely demolished in her very first competitive beer mile ever. World record holder and a newly crowned champion of the Legends and Elite race, Shelby Hulahan. Shelby, talk us through, first your decision, which beer did you go with in today's event? I went with Budweiser, I've been practicing and that was the one that sat well in my stomach for one time and I was like, nope, that's it, I'm gonna, go do, I'm gonna do that, so. So superstitious with the butt heavy, you went out there. Was there any point when you thought, uh, I regret this decision? No, honestly, it was like really fun. I think like running past all the puke spots though was a little nerve wracking. I was trying not to look at them, but uh, no, I had a great time and I just like, I felt really good and everything kind of was clicking, so it was great. 
Well, congratulations. It's fantastic to have you out here. Congrats on the world record. One more time for all of you who have seen history made here today. World record, Shelby Houlihan, 12, excuse me, 543. Come on. All right, that was uh, quite exciting right there. So I'm going to say that officially we know we're going to have probably two world records if Jim's, uh, Jim's time holds up as well. But we've got